the results of a study that we've been doing here at the Ontario Science Centre for the last month. We've also been doing it online with our friends on Facebook and our followers on Twitter. And it's a study about rock, paper, scissors. When you play rock, paper, scissors, you are watching your opponent because you have your eyes open. If I was playing rock, paper, scissors with you, we can see each other, right? Yes. And so, what it means is that when I see you doing something, it's as if I'm doing it as well. So, if I see you throw a rock, in my brain, I'm throwing a rock, and that can make me throw a rock. Some of you, I'm sure, have heard of monkey see, monkey do. That's what this is. It's subconscious, it happens without you even thinking about it, but if I see you do something, I will copy you. <laughs> Here are the results where one person playing the game is blindfolded and one person is watching. So that means there is still the possibility that somebody could copy because I can see what you do. And we can see that there's a draw there 40% of the time. Now if we each can throw a rock, a paper or a scissors, how many draws should there be statistically? 33. That's right. There should be a draw 33% of the time. One third. So this would suggest that maybe we are copying each other. Here is the moment you have all been waiting for. Here's what you're here for today. The results of the blindfolded rock, paper, scissors study. There it is. The draw number dropped to 36%. Still a touch more than a third but a lot closer to what you would expect it to be from a statistical standpoint. And these are results that we have gained right here in the Ontario Science Centre with all of our visitors. They've been visiting us all month and we've been playing rock, paper, scissors here. We've also engaged all of our friends online on Facebook and our followers on Twitter and had them all playing rock, paper, scissors and sending us their results.